So we're back with iPhone 4. Take a look at our maybe least favorite app that we use on a regular basis, at least for me, camera. So what's new in camera? Well, it wants to stop you, which isn't actually new. That's been available since 3.0. But there is something new. Right, just take your regular photo. Shutter speed isn't greatly improved. See, boom, took your photo. You're done. Now, if I want to take a photo of my big TV, I just tap on my TV, and now it's in focus. Take a photo. Pretty boring. Let's take a look at this over there. There's my big box of metal. And here's my iPhone. Watch this. It's kind of cool. I'll zoom it out on the camera. Because the camera needs to show this. Just tap anywhere on the screen. Notice this bar that comes up. What is that? I just take it and drag it. Must have to actually try to touch that button. There we go. I can zoom in on my camera. Zoom in right about there. Tap to focus right about there. And take a photo. Also, I can record a video. This is so nice. It's been there for a while now. But it just got improved. Well, you can't zoom in. Watch this. La la. You can tap to focus while recording a video. That is a new feature. For example, if I want to focus on something really close like this, I just tap it. And it brings it into much precision focus. Now if I go out here, it looks all blurry. So I'll just tap on, let's say, that boombox. And now it's all back in. So it saves it, and then when you click on it, you can watch it. It's that easy. Of course, you can still upload it to YouTube. Watch this. La, la. You can tap to focus while recording a video. So, I mean, that was just nice. A little improvement there. Not a big improvement, but it's nice. Of course, any improvements are nice. Um, Safari. I may have already said this, but Safari seems much smoother. Much, much smoother. Double tap. Boom, boom. There you go. Click it. Click it. It's much smoother. That's all. If I zoom all the way out, boom. Want to zoom in? Just like on iPad, much smoother. Seems much more responsive, so. Open up mail. Check out email. MacRumors.com Oh, I want to go back to Safari. Just tap it and boom, I'm back at Safari. Want to go back to the App Store? It doesn't have to reload. I, want, I mean, this is great, but it only does it to certain apps. You have to have the uh, thing in your app for this specific to work. If you open up Facebook, and you go back here to your live feed, and you quit it, and you open up FML, and then you quit that, and you open up this game center thing, you can double click and go back to your native apps without a problem, because Apple already did this. But if you want to open up an app like FML, had the urge to say, you know, the actual what F stand for, uh, you notice how it just had to reload. And uh, same with Facebook, it has to reload. But if they build in with the thing, so it's not real, I wouldn't call it real backgrounding, it just will appeal real to you, but the developer probably built it in, so when you quit it, it just does a quick save of it, and you will assume it's left it off. And Game Center, yeah, doesn't do much. You can log in and set your status. Say, like, hey, Steve, man. So, you know, new cool, innovative line now appears under here, and I just click it. And it will give me spelling suggestions. So I'll just hit done because I want Steve to see this. So if I'm in notes now, I 
and I create a new note. I type in nicking it. Spell that right, and then I can type in ham -er It'll give me that correct spelling, but you know. Boo. I'll just add it. And then I'll type in faggot. Gotta be toggled, but you know. I wonder what happens if I type in a bad word. Um, no, I don't think so. I wonder what word we could misspell. Hey. Duty. What? Alright, we'll call it new. Sorry. I got it on a few of them. I mean. It's just auto correction doesn't. I mean, you can kind of see it like that. Hey, and you can click it and look it. It'll think it knows how to spell it. So I can choose the correct spelling. Pretty cool. Go back to Mac Rumors. Can you read it? See all my different things here. Pretty nice. So general. Wallpaper. Let's take a look at wallpaper. Go to your wallpaper. Um, comes with a few new wallpapers. I can set this. And I'll just choose... Um, I like the flower a lot. Apparently, so I'll set that as, let's say, home screen wallpaper. And now I'll go into camera roll and choose my flower that I took here. And I'll set that as the home screen. And then, um, no, sorry. And then I'll set this wave as the lock screen. So now that I've done that, I go home, go to the lock, see it like that. See it there, marijuana? No, I don't, it's not marijuana, I'm just kidding. That was actually, uh, cool stuff that I, it was actually weed that was growing outside, or maybe it was just other flowers. I don't mean weed as in a drug, I mean just stuff, like flowers, and in case people don't believe me, I'll have to prove it to them, police or whatever. Um, uses wallpaper, we can set it as both, why not? I don't have pictures of anything bad on my phone, but, you know. So now, we can see these stupid trees outside that I took a picture of. So iPhone 4, oh, iOS 4, is free for iPhone 3G owners and iPhone 3GS owners. It is also now free for the iPod Touch second generation, which is that tapered design. Came in 8, 16, and 32 gig capacity. And it's also available for the iPod Touch third generation device, which is the same tapered design, but it also has voice control and other unique features that work. So in short, it will only work on devices that were introduced in 2008 and after. But if you want full functionality, you have to have a device that was introduced in 2009 or after. Uh, the original iPhone and the original iPod Touch, sorry, but um, Apple considers those to be at the end of their life, and you should buy a new one ASAP, because you're not getting any releases. But there's one more thing. What is that weird icon? That's utilities. With this new thing, you can make folders. Hold an icon down. I drag iTunes on top of the App Store. It'll rename it as Lifestyle. I don't know why it wants to call it Lifestyle. But either way, I can just drag apps in it. Just see, I drag this and then I put it on top. It accepts it with a nice, big, warm welcome. So I can drag apps in there. I'm just gonna drag them all. I'm that type of guy. So, there you go.